So just a little quick, I guess, I don't know, history or whatever. Um, I've basically been heating with firewood exclusively for probably 15 years now. Um, we doubled the size of our house about seven years ago. Um, so we're currently running two wood stoves and I shoot to get about 10 cord of wood uh, per season. We don't, obviously don't go through 10 cord every season. It kind of depends on how the winter goes. Um, but if I got 10 cord, that'll carry us through a, an exceptionally cold winter. And if it's a more mild winter, then I'll have a couple cord left for the following season. Um, so we'll probably get into a little bit more of that kind of stuff later on. Um, but we've got about 10 acres of land here. And so we pretty much go from uh, out in the woods, cutting the trees down, dragging them out to, you know, cutting them into rounds and splitting them and stacking them and eventually bringing them up to the house to heat the house with. Um, so I've kind of been trying to improve everything a little bit every year, <coughs> excuse me, every year um, to make things a little bit easier. Um, hence a lot of the times I'm on YouTube to see what other people are doing and I've tried some things and uh, some things have worked for me and some things haven't. So I just kind of figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing and um, what's working for me right now or um, and I'm always looking to improve things um, so today anyway I get the the tractors warming up uh, I'm out in the shop right now we're gonna grab a couple chainsaws oh I'm grabbing my stuff to get ready like I said I got the tractor warming up uh, I'm gonna take probably that uh, the old steel 023 um, that's kind of been my go-to all-purpose saw forever um, it's a decent power and fairly lightweight, which is kind of why I like it. Um, I'm also going to probably take the steel, uh, I think it's a 362. Uh, yeah, 362C, and I've got a, a 25 inch bar on it. And um, I like that saw for cutting trees down just because I can do everything from one side. And the problem with the with the lighter weight one is it's only got a 16 inch bar and any tree of any sort of decent size you gotta cut everything from both sides and you can do it but it's just it's just a lot easier if you've got something bigger to get the tree down in one piece um, but as far as cutting firewood all day I just I prefer to use something lighter you know why carry all the extra weight if I don't need to and I just got my box that kind of fits on the tractor um, I got some fuel some oil some wedges, um, a hatchet for wedges, um, and I'll probably just take a couple choker chains and not too much with me. Um, I do have a couple other saws, but they're I've got parts on order for those right now. So anyway, um, yeah, well, I guess we'll. Get this 
still got all winter. It's only like early January to get wood out. So that's kind of the trail I've been pulling wood out of. Um, I'm gonna go cut a couple trees down and drag them out. Well, it is still definitely a lot wetter down here than I was hoping it would be, but I actually hiked down with the chainsaw down to the end of the trail and figured I'd come get the tractor halfway down. And, um, but basically some quick history is we've got about five acres down here that we never do anything with and there's a lot of wood out here um, but typically as you can see the woods are fairly thick and in the summer down here this is the tractor it's really it's really wet early season so you got to almost wait till the end of the summer for it to dry out or fall or obviously winter everything freezes um, and typically in the past I've always by winter when I'm ready to get some trees out I haven't had a you know decent trail to come through here and I don't know if you've ever just tried driving a tractor through the woods in the in the winter but if there's two or three feet of snow you know and there's trees down and rocks sticking up and small trees it's just really hard to try to make a trail in the winter um, and we've always had a lot of other wood that's more accessible and so I've every winter thought I should get some trees out of here come down looked at it determined it was gonna be too much work to get down in here and just simply easier to get trees elsewhere on the property so anyway I spent about a day this spring I kind of fixed up the landing that we were on earlier which also in the spring that's too muddy to do anything with so whatever I've got up there I pretty much gotta leave until midsummer late summer to get out but I cut a trail just wide enough that I could squeeze the tractor through and um, I've been widening it up and that's what I'm getting firewood from this year so yeah there's some standing water right there with pretty much no ice on it it's actually supposed to get down into the single digits tonight so tomorrow would probably be an ideal day to be out here doing this instead of today. But unfortunately tomorrow's Monday, so I will be at work. And next weekend, it looks like the weather is going to be about the same uh, mid as this past weekend. Mid 30s, maybe close to 40, and rain. So I don't know. Again, it's early January. We'll see what happens. But that's pretty much about as far as I made it. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is typically if I'm cutting trees down by the house, I don't want to leave a mess of brush close to the yard. Um, and the nice thing about down here is, like I said, we literally don't do anything with the land down here. So it pretty much lets me just cut the tree down, cut the, cut the branches off, and instead of having to clean the branches up and stuff, I can, as long as they're not in my way, just kind of leave them so um, it definitely definitely makes it a bit easier than if I'm cutting trees on the edge of the yard or the edge of the driveway or that kind of thing so that's pretty much what I've got going on um, <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 